What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a fairly new extension from Fredo 6 that gives you direct access to some of the features that you usually have to dig in order to get to. So mostly having to do with the visibility of different objects inside of SketchUp. I will note that today's extension was voted on by my supporters on Patreon. So on Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week my patrons voted and they selected Mr. Hyde as the extension of the week. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can download this extension from the Sketchication website. Um, it's a free extension from Fredo 6. Um, one thing to note is you do need to make sure that you download and install LibFredo, the most recent version, in order to use this extension. There's also a forum post in here, so if you have any questions or anything like that, you can definitely post in there um, if there's anything you want to see added or anything that seems like would make sense. So I know Fredo 6 is actually in that forum post a lot of the time, and he will probably actually respond to you if you have any questions. Um, but when you first install this uh, extension, basically what it does is it creates this big toolbar. And what this toolbar does is it contains a lot of the visibility functions that you otherwise have to go kind of dig for inside of SketchUp. So um, we'll just kind of go through each one of these and I'll give you an idea of what it can do. Um, I haven't really, I'm kind of because I'm so used to knowing where all of these features are, I'm not 100% sure if this is a toolbar that I would want on my screen all the time or not, but if it helps you not having to go dig for these different features, then it could be really valuable. And so basically what it does is each one of these icons um, allows you to toggle a visibility. So for example, this icon right here toggles your hidden geometry. So you can see how inside of my sphere, if you press this button or click this icon, it toggles your hidden geometry on and off. Otherwise, you'd have to go up to view and check the box for hidden geometry here. So in addition, it also has the ability to view hidden objects. So right here, um, if you remember in SketchUp 2020, they added the ability to view hidden objects separately from your hidden geometry, and this will toggle that on and off. So you can use this in order to see your hidden objects inside of SketchUp. So you can toggle that on and off. This feature right here toggles the draw back edges function. So if you've ever accidentally turned on your back edges, you know that basically what this means is this means that you're going to have like dotted lines showing your hidden geometry that's behind stuff. So you can see inside of a SketchUp right now, you can see all of the dotted lines for the back lines that are hidden by these faces by toggling this on and off. So those have to do with your hidden geometry. Then there's also functions in here to view the model axes or not. So you can turn those on or off. A lot of these would be up in view, like under axes, or you could adjust this in the style functions. You can also toggle individual component axes, which I didn't actually realize you could do. So that's actually very helpful because a lot of the time knowing where those axes are is going to affect the way that some components are going to act when you use different extensions with them. So you can toggle those on and off. There's also a function in here to toggle guides on and off. So you can view and hide guides. You can also view and hide dimensions as well as notes. So you can toggle all of those on and off inside of this toolbar. Moving on, this option right here, or these three options have more to do with your shadows and your environment. So you can turn shadows on and off over here. Um, otherwise you had to go into shadows in your tray to turn this on and off. You can also toggle the sun shading in here, which I need to turn shadows off for that to work. But you can see how if you toggle your sun shading, these objects will act as if the sun is shining on them. So you can turn that sun shading on and off as well. And then you can also toggle your fog using this function right here. So you can turn fog on and off in this toolbar. So the next two functions are functions that are usually shown inside of the styles. Um, so you adjust your styles in order to turn these on and off, but this one will turn off your ground. So you can turn your ground on and off as well as your sky. So usually you have to go into your styles under edit, under your background settings, and that's how you would turn these on and off. This allows you to toggle those really quickly. So the next function toggles color by tag mode. This used to be color by layer mode um, before SketchUp 2020. But this one will toggle everything getting colored based on the tag that it has in it. So for example, um, if I have like these colors applied to these different uh, 
these different tags. So you can see how I've tagged my cylinder with a cylinder tag, my sphere with a sphere tag, and my pyramid with a pyramid tag. Well, this this toggles color by layer or color by tag mode um, over here, but now you can find it inside of this uh, inside of this toolbar. And then if you ever adjust these tags, so if you were to change the color of this, for example, um, you can see how you can make things colored by the layer or the tag that they're on, and you can toggle that right here. So then these next functions are also having to do with your um, with your style settings. So these would be contained in your edge settings. But this gives you the ability to turn your edge visibility on and off. So you can see if I toggle this off, you don't see the front edges anymore, as well as the ability to turn your edge profiles on and off. So if you remember, profiles is one of the things that we change inside of our style when we're trying to help our performance. So that's under your edge settings and your styles, and it's this box right here. But this function also allows you to toggle that on and off, as well as the endpoints function. So if you turn the endpoints function on, you can see how you get a thickened edge at every endpoint point as well as so for example I've split this edge right here so I have an endpoint right in the middle so if you're looking for something that allows you to quickly select endpoints you can toggle this on and off as well so one of the things people don't know inside of SketchUp is you can also apply materials to edges. And one of the reasons that people don't know this is because you have to go into your styles to turn this on and off and select the buy material option. You can see how when you do a buy material, you can see how I've applied a blue material to this edge and a pink material to this edge. Um, but this option right here allows you to toggle that on and off without having to dig into your styles. So it also gives you the ability to toggle on and off your edge color by axis. So I usually recommend that people use this when they're checking to make sure things have actually been modeled on axis. So things are actually flat or not. You can toggle that on and off right here. And then the last two functions have to do with the visibility of objects while you're editing components. So the first one um, allows you to hide similar instances. And so what that means is that means that when you edit one instance of a component, the other instances of the component will be hidden. So you can toggle that on and off using this function. You can also toggle on and off hide rest of model. So I believe this is usually found in your preferences, but if you're editing a component and you want to turn off the rest of the model while you're editing that one component, um, you can select this option right here in order to do that. In order to get everything to go away, in this case, we would need to toggle both of these options on and off. But you can see how you can actually do this live while you're in here. So it allows you to toggle this while you're actually working instead of having to stop and go into your preferences, things like that. So, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if I'll be incorporating this one into my workflow just because I'm so used to going and turning these features on and off and I know exactly where they are. If you struggle to find things or remember where all of the different options are, this could be a great tool for, um, for putting everything in one place so that you can start utilizing these functions inside of SketchUp. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this extension, if you'd use it. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.